okay. Okay, so the correct answer is letter. The like answer is letter C, no? 6 mm. Next, which of the following steps of a uh, types of enclosure is required to be waterproof when installed in specific locations? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no? Damp locations. Okay, so what is the permissible maximum fill of conductors in wiring space of enclosure for switches and overcurrent devices? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, yan, 40%. Okay, next, in enclosure for switches or overcurrent devices, what is the maximum allowable fill for taps in the wiring at any cross section? So, ito for the tapping, ilang percent. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, 75%. Next, when constructing cabinets, cut-out boxes, or metal sockets, enclosures with sheet steel, what is the minimum uncoated metal thickness required?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, no, 1.35 mm. Okay, what is the minimum required air space between live metal parts and doors in cabinet, scout out boxes, or met, um, meter socket enclosures? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, 25 mm. Next, when surface mounting enclosure, so what is the required minimum distance that nails and screws should be placed from the back or the ends of the enclosure? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, 6 mm. Next, for a raceway supported enclosure with devices, luminaires, fixtures, or lamp holders, what is the maximum size of the raceway that is allowed? So, yung volume, maximum volume ng raceway. Okay. So the correct answer is letter B. Yeah, B. 1650 centimeter squared. Okay. Next, what is the required internal depth for outlet boxes including flash devices?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, no? 24 mm. Next, for solid dielectric insulated, um, conductor separated 2,000 volts in permanent installation. So what is the required characteristics of their insulation? So tingin ko na, na to repeat. So tingnan natin if naalala nyo pa kung ano yung tamang sagot para dito. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter C, no ozone resistant. Okay, next, what is the maximum weight that outlet boxes are permitted to, suffo to support for luminaire fixture installation? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, 23 kilograms. Next, what is the minimum required internal depth of outlet boxes? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, 13 mm. Okay, next, for sheet metal boxes not exceeding 1,650 cubic centimeter in size, what is the minimum thickness of the steel required for the construction of such sheet steel boxes? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, 1.6 mm. Okay, what is the minimum required volt thickness for malleable iron box or conduit? So if your conduit is malleable iron or aluminum, so what is the, the, the thickness no, of your uh, metal sheet for the construction of such boxes?
Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, 2.4 mm. Next, for straight poles in junction boxes, what is the required minimum length of the box in relation to the largest shielded or lead covered conductor or cable entering the box? Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, 48 times the outside diameter. Okay, so what is the minimum required distance between each cable or conductor for angle U poles in the junction box? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, 36 times the outside diameter. Yan. Okay, so that will be all for this evening, no? So, I hope na you learned something on our discussion about 